only constraints okay okay let's assume that there are already i discussed the attribute machine so with the help of the constraint equation will manage here so this is a ground this is a ground okay now the moment i release so here the first weight m2 g so let me take m2 greater than m1 so here what are the forces the tension will act like this then this will be m1g since uh, like what about the acceleration of them so here i i will define the position so th this pulley is what light no it's a light pulley so therefore the tension on either side of pulley must be same okay let's go for the thing now so here i'll omni mobile objects are there omni mobile objects are there. m1 m2 are mobile objects so here i'll define their position let this be x1 and let the block be at additions x2 then what is the overall length of the string should remain same no because what we take we do consider st string is light and inextensible so what is the basic condition all this string is light and inextensible i think this word inextensible based on this only we have plenty of numericals what all problems i discussed no is because of this condition string is inextensible Okay, I'll start with this one. <coughs> Overall length of the string will depend during its path. It remains same. I'll come to the later on that one when we cut string. What will happen? No, no. Overall length of the string remains same. So the total length of the string will be x one plus x two should be equal to l. Now during its motion, what happened? X one will decrease and x two will increase. No. So I'll differentiate this d x one by d t. Plus dx2 by dt and dl by dt. And length of the string is constant, so dl by dt will be zero. So here this will decrease, so minus v1 bar. Length of string will increase. This will be plus v2 bar equal to zero. Or v1 bar x1 is decreasing. No, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll bring the sign later on. So this will be v1 bar plus v2 bar. V1 bar equal to minus of v2 bar, or in terms of magnitude, both will have same speed. If I differentiate further this, dv1 bar by dt, dv2 bar by dt. So this will become a1 bar plus a2 bar. In terms of magnitude. so they will have same acceleration the magnitude will be same but they'll be moving opposite to each other so like this what happen we can show that both will have same acceleration now i'm i'm using word constraint equation so this particular thing is called like a constraint equation this is called like a constraint equation or, or this called like a constraint equation so what do you mean by constraint uh, what is the typical meaning of constraint like if it, say like a You you are not interested to join IIT. You wanted to do medicine, but your parent constrained you to join ITJ coaching. You wanted to join some other good institution, but your parent constrained you to join Sri Chaitanya. What do you mean by constraint? Forcibly, no. Some restrictions we are putting that one. So there's the meaning. So the blocks wants to fall freely, but what happen? Oh. <coughs> Now, uh, what is the state of string? So, what strings will do? Strings will not permit them to move to fall freely. The string and pulley. That's why the motion is called as a constraint motion. So, what about that acceleration? So, here I'll, I'll write down the equation: m two g minus t equal to m two a. T minus m one g equal to m one a. Solving these two, we'll get acceleration. M two G minus M one G by M one plus M two. 
substitute this value of a in any one equation, we'll get 2m1 m2 g by m1 plus m2. This will be the tension. <coughs> like this, we can find out the tension and, and this will be the acceleration. They'll be moving opposite to each other. The magnitude will be equal. And now, uh, who is putting constraints? So look at the acceleration of block. Is it equal to g? No. So some other value, no, less than g. So why less than g? Because the string and pulley are not permitting it to fall freely. So they are constraining it. They are constrained. They are putting some restrictions on their motion. That's why this is called like a constrained motion. That one. And now, uh, if I cut a string, uh, then immediately tension will become zero. String will become loose, and with what velocity they'll be moving? No, this will ascend and descend. And what about block M two? It's like a body projected vertically down. Tension will become immediately zero. That's what at our level we conclude it. <coughs> okay, already I think previous class we discussed. So just I brought the idea of this writing equation. Tell me like when you are writing equation, what you should do? How many mobile objects are there? And define their position from the reference point. I'm taking the pulley as reference. So for our all our discussion, this pulley is a reference. This will be our reference thing. All, all the pulleys will be light and massless. Okay, let me uh, take the next condition. <clears throat> 